볼까요? 
I am trying to save my business, not drive my customers away. I'm afraid they're already booked. Unless, of course, you want to reimburse me for their booking fee. So when are they coming? Tuesday. Are we ready to order, gents? Do you mind? Got a problem? These biscuits are broken. Oh, well, I suppose you're going to blame me for that, are you? Uh, yes, I am. So if you don't mind, I'll go and get myself another packet. See yourself. I can see it runs in the family. What? Nothing. Those thugs of yours going on the school trip next week, are they? I think it's been made perfectly clear who the real thugs are, so if you don't mind. They might have pulled the wool over the teacher's eyes, but they can't fool me. I think the teachers know what they're doing. Well, I'm not so sure, and that's why I've agreed to accompany them on the school trip next week. Oh, well, I bet that'd be a party in the staff room right now. You may well snigger. But I'll be watching their every move, and if Robert and Andy go anywhere near my Donna, I'll be down on them like a ton of bricks. My change. Oh, Monday. Oh, Fudge. You shouldn't wear your best clothes, you'll spoil them. Yeah, well, uh, that's what I've come up here for. Um, are we still going out tonight? You bet. I've even got the night off at the Woolly. Oh, great. Um, uh, what time shall I meet you? Pick us up at Betty's at seven. Right. Hard at work, I see. Shh, Marlon, I'm trying to watch this. Um, Some bloke who's had a sex change. And Cheers, Scott, I just missed that, now. You're actually going to do anything today? Yeah, we're going down at Malt Shovel, why? We were waiting for you, actually. Oh, well, in case you haven't noticed, I have a job. That's one of the things you have to do to earn money. And I have to be back at oh, work in precisely five minutes. We were hoping you could uh, lend us a fiver. Yeah. Well, so you can sit like a couple of old blokes in the corner nursing a pint till closing time? I don't think so. You are so unbelievably tight. You know that? You want money, yeah? Go out and earn it. Bye. I'm not happy about this, Cathy. Will you stop hassling me, Biff? But when I spoke to Dr Khan the other day, he said it was going to be weeks before you were fit enough to leave hospital. Yeah, and as you can see, he was wrong. It's no use, Biff. We've all been trying. Yeah, but you can say that again. Will you just take a minute to think about what you're doing? Biff? Mm. Biff? Biff, mate. Oh, not now, Butch. I'm... This is brilliant, Biff. I can't thank you enough. Yeah, it's nothing. Forget about it. No, but listen. It worked. Hey, will you calm down? I feel like a frog what's been turned into a prince. No. Most frogs have to wait for a kiss for a princess before that happens. Just going out with me, Biff, just like you suggested. Well, that's that's great. That, that who is? The girl I was telling you about. We're going out for a meal tonight in Otto. Just the two of us. Well, it's all down to you, mate. You've been a real mate. Well, I'm glad it's worked out for you. I don't care what anyone says. I'm gonna get my princess. <laughs> get, get, oh! <laughs> get off! What's been your biscuit? I thought you were Terry. I can't believe you just did that. You know, I'm gutted. And we're finished. What? You're mistaking me for a rundown or has been like Terry Woods. <laughs> Don't be so mean. Yeah, well, he had you going. Did you still hassle about that Scottish pub thing? Yeah, I don't know what to say to him. Tell him to shove it. Scott? He's a nice bloke and I don't want to hurt him. Yeah, well, what about my offer? Now, that has been taxing my brain. Well? Well, I think I need to sample the merchandise. Oh, you mean a sort of test drive? Mm-hmm. Well, I can assure you one thing. What's that? I've been well running. Oh, yeah? You know, I'd hate you to think that you had to hold back in any way. Any hidden dents? Just dodgy breaks. Kathy! How wonderful to see you! Now, what do you want, Eric? Just to see you fit and healthy again. You look radiant. Don't overdo it. The shock of you trying to be charming might just put me back in hospital. <laughs> 
You can't imagine how much I've been worrying about you. Well, you're right, I can't. It must be very difficult. I heard that your memory was badly affected. It must feel like a whole chunk of your life has just disappeared. Actually, my memory seems pretty good. Every day, a bit more comes back to me. Oh, really? Uh, do you know, uh, a shock such as the one that you've experienced can sometimes bring on uh, false recollections. Eric, what are you talking about? Nothing. Nothing at all. You must just think to the future. It's the only way to deal with the dark hours. Uh, believe me, I know. <clears throat> you just uh, think to the future, eh? What? Hey, you leave her alone, Eric Pollard. She's fragile. <laughs> Believe me, dear Betty, I have no desire to interfere with Cathy's recuperation. Forget you ever saw me. What on earth is he up to? Well, actually, Cathy, you shoved me too hard on him. Oh, no? No, you know what? He went to visit you while you were in your coma. Oh, I don't bear thinking about. Eric Pollard venting his bile all over you, and you lying there, not even able to give him a good tongue lashing. Oh, my God. What is it, Cathy? I'm going to have to sit down. Do you want me to call the hospital? What's the matter, love? I've just remembered something. About the accident? New evidence? Do you want me to call the police? No, no, Marlon, it's not a matter for the police. It's something... What? It's something far worse than that. Yeah, well, uh, I booked a table dinner and, uh, well, I don't want to give it to someone else. <laughs> Ooh, very nice. I've really been uh, looking forward to this, Monday. Yeah, so have I. Right then, huh, let's go. Your carriage awaits. Hey, up, but shouldn't we wait for the others? Others? Hey, come on, you lot, how much is waiting? Monday, I thought. What? Nothing. Hello, Butch. Of all you do look smart. <laughs> Uncle Zach, come on! Right. Uh. Hey, which chip are you taking us to? <laughs> 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 Honestly, he did. You're not serious. I swear to you, I was in the coma and Eric must have been sitting by the bed. I could hear him speaking. And he said he always fancied me. Are you sure this isn't kind of some weird nightmare? Because it isn't very probable. I know, but Eric came in all slimy this afternoon, gabbling on about how I might have false memories or something. Well, then it must be true. <laughs> I don't know who I feel more sorry for, you or him. I suppose it makes sense when you think about it. I just wish I'd known when he was giving me all that grief over the wine bar. Well, you do now. Eric Pollard, you are in my power. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening, sir. Uh, yeah, um, I telephoned earlier. The, 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 the name's Dingle. Ah, yes, table for two. Hey, I hope your food's better than your mask. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, does it look like there's two of us? Zach! My apologies, sir. I'll sort out a different table. Well, uh, we'll sit you over there. Huh? Don't tell me. Rigoletto? Sorry, Al. No, 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 leave it on. It's beautiful, isn't it? And it is Rigoletto, isn't it? Well, I didn't know you were an opera buff. I heard about your little date in Leeds last night. Hardly a date. Laura and I are colleagues. It's good for the business to spend social time together. 
Well, you don't have to get defensive with me. I think it's great you had the night out with Laura. Anyway, I thought you didn't like her. Well, we don't hit it off, but she's successful, clever, mature. Is this some kind of not very subtle digger, Kelly Windsor? Well, Laura's a bit more your type. Well, actually, I don't think it's any of your business. Oh, lighten up, Chris. Watching you just then, listening to that music, I haven't seen you look so relaxed, so happy in months. Years. Oh, careful, you're slipping. What? That looks suspiciously like a smile. Have you seen prizes on these? Listen, Zach. I do not want to listen to you complaining all that. Uncle Zach, this is supposed to be a celebration. I just think we'll be back in the zone home next week. I can hardly wait. Yeah, you're right. And it's down to these two and their cunning plan. Let's have a toast. To Butch and Mandy. Butch and Mandy. To us. To us. More beers, waiter. I just don't want Viv Windsor causing a load of trouble for Robert and Andy, that's all. You're overreacting. Don't underestimate her, Jack. It doesn't take a genius to work out who Donna learned about bullying from. I mean, you can't stop her going on the school trip. Anyway, what harm can she do? The whole thing's going to be supervised by the teachers. Yeah, well, that didn't stop Donna before, did it? No, there's only one solution. What's that? I'm going to go, too. Oh, no, Mum. Oh, don't go. Well, you don't want a load of trouble from Viv, do you? No, it's just... What? Well, they don't want you cramping their style. It'd be really embarrassing. Might as well just stay at school. We won't be able to have any fun with you breathing down our necks. <laughs> Got a point, love. Oh, thanks a lot. <laughs> Look, you don't want to let an old witch like Viv Windsor wind you up. It's not me I'm worried about, Jack. You're not going to change my mind. I'm going to ring the school first thing tomorrow morning. No fireworks tonight, then, Alan? Very funny. So, what do you think? Hmm, okay. Well, you've had the test drive. Does Madam think she's willing to come in? Well, the handling was a bit rough. So? Great. Not here. <laughs> okay, I'll meet you after work. Oh, no. Look who's just walked in. Don't make a scene, love. Hello, Viv. We were just moving table, weren't we, Vic? Were we? Oh, what a shame. It's got rather stuffy in here, all of a sudden. Oh, well, I'll be able to catch up on all your gossip next week. What? On the school trip. What? Didn't you know I'm going to? Come on, Vic. Bye. So, how's your cottage? You must be nearly settled in by now. Oh, don't talk to me about it. No problems. Garden needs worked, gutterings blocked. There's dozens of niggly little jobs. Normally I like to do that kind of thing myself, but I just don't have the time. Have you thought of getting someone in? Someone recommended a firm in Hutton. I hope you don't mind me interrupting, but can I offer you exclusive access to uh, the cream of local craftsmen? And who might they be? Me and my mates. Oh, oh I don't know. But, uh, Roy's worked on the grounds of Home Farm for years. Yes, I know all about Roy Glover. Oh, they're, they're good lads, Nora. It may not be any of my business, but employing somebody from the village might make things easier for you. OK. I'll give you a trial. But I don't want a botched job, understand? Understood. <laughs> oh. Hey. I went around and it. Hey. No. Hold on. Yeah. On the count of three, that's what you're doing. One, two, three. Flaming egg. What's he like? Can I help you, sir? Uh, no, no, I was getting a bit of exercise. <laughs> Burning off the curry, so to speak. <laughs> Zachary. 
you? Don't you suck at me. What do you think you're playing at? Dad, what are you trying to do? I'm trying to do a runner, but it ain't going to work if you sit here like you're going to pay the bill. Uh, waiter? Yes, sir. Could you get me the bill, please? <laughs> but, what's going to you? Alright, <laughs> 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 Sal. Yeah. Yeah. Right, I'll go straight up. Alright. Is it good on? Well, to be honest, uh, I can't tell you I haven't been able to concentrate. Still can't decide about this Dundee job, eh? <sighs> Don't see what the problem is. You'd be mad to pass it up. It's a fantastic opportunity. Hmm. It's just that I'm waiting to see if Trish will say she'll go with me. You won't take her, do you? Loads of great women up there. Well, the truth is, I don't think I could bear to go without her. All right, sorry, mate. You have got it bad. I know. It's how I feel. There's nothing I can do about it. Well, good luck, mate. <laughs> That's all I can say. Good night. Get off! I'm trying to lock up. You said after a while. Yeah, we've been locking up his work, but I haven't finished yet. <laughs> there. Great, now you're on my way. Not here, it's freezing. All right, take you back to your nice warm bed. Are you mad? Granddad's in the next room, but like doing it in front of the Queen. Yeah, exciting. <laughs> no chance. All right, we'll go back to mine. What about Terry? What about him? Beast in there. No, Zach, just four pints of lager, two oh. lamb vindaloos, butch and Mandy's mm. chicken tikka masalas, oh. and everybody's after dinner mints. I'm, I'm going to report that place to the environmental health. There's nothing wrong with that food, Zach. It's just you mm. making a pillock of yourself. Yeah. Hey! Yeah. Play off me. Thanks a lot, butch. It was great. Best seat to win. Look, Mandy. Tonight wasn't exactly what I had planned. Butch, don't let him get you down. No, but... Sometimes... I wish things were... well, really different. I know. And I think what you're trying to do is really brilliant. And thanks ever so much for tonight. I really enjoyed myself. I really did. Night-night. Night, Mandy. 